What's up guys, it's your own Ninja Warrior Avid is Happy Burrow Hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Today is another tutorial going over one of my favorite sword tosses, the behind the head catch. And so if you're interested in learning this move and other moves as I post more and more tutorials for you guys, definitely hit the like video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. But run that intro. Now guys, if these tutorials are not quite enough for you guys, I have two things for you. One, I do private lessons. So if you're interested in getting a private lesson anywhere in the world, via Zoom call, going over whatever you want to go over, definitely shoot me a message or comment on this channel. You can email me, you can comment or like mention me on Instagram or comment and you know, all the ways of contacting me, do those and let me know that you want private lessons. Or you can wait for me to release the Become a Ninja course. Now the first one is not going to be over sword, it's going to be over bow staff, and I have been working on it very diligently, but it is in the works, and so if you want to wait for that, that would also be something you might want to look into. And if you want to be notified when that happens, and even possibly uh, have access to the beta when I release it, definitely click the link down in the bio to my um, my link tree type of website, my bio tree, and you can check out the um, the beta and sign up for the beta there. But let's get to it. So starting with our first prerequisite, you're gonna wanna learn how to do your beginner basic forward toss, where the handle goes forward, the blade goes up, just like that. That is the prerequisite you're gonna need for this trick. And honestly, having a uh, OVA spin is also gonna be useful, but not necessary. You don't, you just wanna do the toss, you can just do the toss. So for those that don't know, we're just gonna cover real briefly. The forward toss, whoop, blade up, handle up. I'm not gonna go into all the little details like I did in the other video, so you can go watch those if you're, if you're really needing that. But once you have this toss, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the hand placement right for your catch. This means having your catching hand, for me it's gonna be my left hand, right behind my head, just like so, my palm facing up. If your palm's down, you will hurt yourself and that will not work out. So make sure your palm's facing up. Once it's there, you're gonna to wanna to get used to handing the sword off, not even tossing, just handing the sword off. Handing the sword off, just like so. Making sure you can hand it off, easily understanding where it's gonna be and where you want it to be, and making sure that you're comfortable with the blade going behind your back and the handle going into your hand. Then we're gonna get close so we can do a safe version of the toss. You're gonna put your hand in place, you're gonna lift, 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 and then the last little bit you're gonna toss. Just getting it started, rotate, 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 and toss. And then you can start tossing from farther and farther away until you have your full spin. Now there are some things that you might be able to use that will help make this trick a little bit easier to understand. The first being, make sure you're not tossing it like a rainbow. A lot of people when they first get started, they will toss it and not put any spin on it so the sword literally will just rainbow over them and you don't want that, you won't be able to catch it. You want it to focus on rotating in the air like so as opposed to arcing over your head and that's not what you want. The second thing you're going to want to focus on is making sure that your shoulders don't lean back. You're not going to want to lean back and try and reach back like this. Your shoulder will get in the way. You actually want to pull your shoulder forward and keep your hand in position. And then to make this even cooler or more you, you can start instead of catching it high, catching it lower or your behind the back catch, or you can do more spins in the air, like that. <laughs> Just like that, where you can do two spins in the air, which is not an easy thing to do. These are high level tricks, and so make sure if you're going to be doing anything like this, your sword, you want to be made of something that's not gonna hurt you. So I left links to lots of different types of tricking swords down in the description of this video, so you can pick one that you like because tricking swords are designed not to actually hurt you in the slightest. So if you catch the blade, it's gonna be okay. Versus if you would do that on a live blade, you would lose some fingers. And I'm pretty sure you don't wanna do that. 
Plus, if you use my discount code NINJA10 at checkout at Century Martial Arts, you can get 10% off not only your sword, but literally anything else you want to get in your cart. Maybe you want to get one of these bags, you go for it. Maybe you want to get a bob, absolutely. You want to get a new bow staff, that works too. NINJA10 will give you 10% off everything, and it's perfect timing for the holidays. But with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things to help me out. It would really help me out. And if you want to see more of these types of videos or another weapon or a specific trick, let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'll see y'all next time. Be The Modern Ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to